again, everybody. I was going to show y'all today um, how you can trim your tag ends on a pull through without using a razor blade and without using the method I previously showed. I'll put a link right here in the top right hand corner to that video. Some people are having some problems with that method and I do it all the time. It works really great for me. You might wrap with a different tension, a different thread. There could be any number of reasons why people would have trouble with that technique the way I showed it. It's my preferred method, but I'll show you something you can do to trim these tag ends and clean it up without using a razor blade and without using the method I showed previously. And hopefully this will help some people out too. And one good thing about using a pull through method is that you can line up your tag ends underneath the thread a little better usually. So I'll just pull that and get a good alignment with this other one here just to show you how you can pull that up a little bit. So those two will be pretty close together. Usually you want your tags that are pulled through to show on the bottom side of the rod while you're fishing it. That way they're not visible. All right, so that's pulled completely through. Now, what I'm gonna do is just take a pair of scissors that don't even have any sort of a fine tip or anything, and I'm gonna cut that off just to show you how much stick out you can get away with and still cover it up. I'm just gonna get these as close as I can with these scissors. There we go. Now I'll rotate that up. And let me get something dark to put behind it so you can see with the stick up there. Okay, so you can see we got a lot of stick out right there. So what I'm gonna do is take a tool of some sort. I'm just gonna use this one I did on a video about some Dollar Tree tools that you can pick up to use. And I'll put a link up here in the top right corner so you can look at that if you want to, if you missed it. So I'm just going to come in where that tag end is sticking out and I'm going to pull this thread this direction right beside that as much as I can. You can see how that's opening up right there where that tag end sticking out. I'm just going to work it around a little and try to get me a little bit of a gap there. All right, so I've got a little bit of a gap. Now I'm just gonna take that tool and run it down that gap and pull that tag in that was sticking out. I'm gonna pull it in the direction that the tension was coming from. My tension on my wrappers comes from this front side. There's tension down this direction. So I'm gonna pull this thread down this way to try to get it to go into that little seam we created there. And I'm just gonna push it down in there as best I can. And now I'm gonna start closing that gap up by pushing the thread back over. And then I'm just gonna burnish that area out. Now hopefully you can see that that took care of that big stick out for the most part. There's just a little bit of fuzz sticking out right there. You can see it, I think, just a little bit of fuzz. If you want to get rid of that, you can do that using a regular lighter. And when you're using the lighter, let me move this out of the way so I don't burn the threads here. When you're using the lighter, you'll want to use the bottom part of the flame. The top part of the flame, if you use it, will get soot on your threads. Up here, it gets real sooty. There's a little bit of a smoke and it'll turn threads blackish. But if you, if you get your lighter and you get right down here at the bottom, it's still warm, very warm, warm enough to melt that thread 
but it's not sooty in that area, if that makes sense. For I don't know the science behind that, and I've told somebody that on a on a comment I made on one of their YouTube videos. I don't know the science behind that, but it works. What you'll want to do then is turn it to where you can see that nib sticking out, and you'll want to hit it with the bottom part of the flame of that lighter. And I'm just going to turn this in a direction that's more convenient for me to see it, but you won't be able to see it on camera as well. But the, the little nib is sticking out right there. And that should have took care of most of that stick up. It's just a little bump there, and that's not even enough to worry about. I've got my camera zoomed in really tight. I mean, you can see the, <laughs> the little hang nails or whatever on my fingernails. So we're in really close and there's just a bump right there and it's very slight. If I were finishing this up, I would put a little color protectant on it and it would stiffen that thread up a little bit and you could probably mash it down flat with a burnishing tool at that point after it dried and you'd be good to go. So you can see there's hardly any stick out at all there now and if you played with it a little more you could probably get it to go completely away but I just wanted to do that as a real quick demonstration to show you that you don't have to use a razor blade and for a lot of people that are just starting out razor blades cause more problems and they end up with wraps that come undone and things like that because they accidentally nick their threads so that is just another method you can do to clean that up and it doesn't look bad at all. So if you were having trouble with the method I showed previously, you can use this method and get good results. You see there's really nothing much to worry about at all going on there. Again, you could probably play with it and flatten it out a little bit more, but that looks really good. There's nothing really sticking through there or anything. It doesn't take long to do. If you're having trouble with the other method I showed, this might be a, a more viable option for you. Give this a shot, see how you like that, and I'll talk to you guys later.